Alright. Thank you, those goons are wearing nothing but bad trouble. Oh look, your Pokemon got hurt on my account. Full restore, thank you. You've got seriously impressive Pokemon with you. It'd be fantastic if someone as strong as you lived here. I hope you'll at least stay as long for a while. I beg your pardon, you're looking for Lostel? Lostel went towards Bond Bridge a while ago. The, the bridge's name is Bond. James Bond. I'm not lost still. She's probably one of the berry forest, I think. She picks berries there for making lunch. Seems like you should probably have a more substantial breakfast than that. Or, oh, sorry, meal. I'm gonna trade my dojuo in the berry forest. When it evolves, I'm gonna play with the game on two island. I- wait, I have a dojuo! Uh, what is this girl? Papa keeps lying to me and won't let me go out and play. You must ever, ever! Go out to Berry Forest alone. Why? There are ghosts there. It's weird to to, to see Pokemon with just like, oh, okay, ghosts exist. Now, now it's just like, oh yeah, whatever. And then back there, back here, back in this gen, it's like, oh god, don't ever encounter them. All right. Ignore my absurd Moonies amount. Excuse me. Oh yeah, come on. Oh, never mind. The Green Island is actually the most populous of the islands here. Still, it could be less sleepy. But I wouldn't want to see goons like those bikers here again. Let's cut this down. I just realized this. <laughs> I forgot whether or not No Will has Rock Smash. He doesn't. Zink! I don't know why Zink is just a funny name to me. But now the vitamins have very little purpose given that I've already maxed out uh, my Pokemon's levels. I could sell them. I bought this house because I wanted to live somewhere quiet. Today I think I'll go out fishing. Well that was a wonderful update on the, cons on the status of your life. We will now move on and never see you again. It's useless. Can't make this spoon bend with my mind. Maybe I don't really have any psychic powers. You know about a girl gym leader in Saffron City? She uses psychic type Pokemon, right? I admire her. I really do. I've heard that she's one cool customer and beautiful too. Hmm. I think there's. Uh, I never. I, I don't think I touched upon this, but like when they, uh, when they had um, Sabrina in Heart Gold, they updated her look. I don't, people like to say it's just like, oh, they sexualized her, and I would argue more they just, they demystified her, which might arguably be worse, but it's, uh, it's because they it took away her, like, shimmery coat and then just gave her just super casual tank top and pants. Alright. Now, where, oh, where can I go? I don't really want to fight those trainers. Just to go up here. Or let's just, uh, take shortcuts, thanks to Parasect. Oh, no. Lovely. Alright. And just like every other place, there's Pokemon. Okay. Whoa, okay, that's closer than I thought it would be. Oh. Wow, okay. It was actually where I figured it was. Yep, max repel. Wait, I have a lot of repels, actually. Hold on. Uh, where... yeah. As I said, I had a lot of money left over when I, uh, bought a lot of those trainers for EV training. Where are you off to in such a hurry? Bulbasaur! I'll use a substitute and then just focus punch them. You're raising some wonderful Pokemon here. I actually forgot to mention that I did not specify what the EV training I was doing actually was in specifically. So with Muck, I gave him max HP and max special defense. Uh, Primeape, I gave him max attack and speed. 
Same thing with Dodrio, however, what I have to mention with both of them was that I actually ran in, or I actually, uh, noticed a, a, a stall, or the, a stopping in their increase in stats really, really quickly, so I think I didn't have much, uh, room to actually make them better. Omastar, I had a similar story. Uh, Omastar, I put the most into special attack and then the rest into speed. He should not have speed that is higher than his special defense, but yet yeah, he does. Coconut Tree, I put all most of it into HP and then the rest into physical defense. Again, I w there wasn't that much room left. And No Will is actually, I think, still unfulfilled. Actually, hold on. I want to see if there's like some visual... Uh... Yeah, I don't see anything visually... Ah, it's because uh, what, what I was going to bring up is that in other generations when you co got completely EV trained, they actually gave you like a smiley face or whatever. In this one, it doesn't look like they gave him anything. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, let's try to find a little girl. And... Oh, that was a pretty effective trainer battle. And now here is Berry Forest. We have these assets made. We're gonna use them, damn it. A very, very weird uh, quirk about this area is that apparently its grass pattern is actually a circuit. Oh, uh, jeez. One of these. Okay, there it goes. Personberry. Oh, by the way, when I was EV training, I actually chose to put a Meowth in my party just to see what I'd get for pickup. Apparent- I did not know that in this gen, pickup mostly gets you berries. So I actually have a bit more berries than I uh, usually have. Because I don't have any rest users, uh, it's not that useful, but it's nice. Sorry. If I had to say which berry was actually the most useful, it's probably citrus. Ah, pinap berry. Let's see, what is that one? That's a weird number. Oh, it's one of those that's powders. It's... I think it's one that was used for beauty contests in, like, the third gen, but then... I'm just, uh, sorry, I was just kind of realizing, I was like, huh, this music actually got better in this generation. As opposed to sounding really, really annoying after a while. <laughs> okay. Uh, there are Pokemon here that are rare. For example, I believe you can encounter Heracross. It's unlikely, but it can happen. Alright. So this is a fully- I, I literally just came here just to get that. Alright. So... Yeah, there are Pokemon here that are a bit rare. I uh, Wow, Hypno. Oh, I- that's actually a bit of foreshadowing. I'm not- I'm not gonna explain how, but you'll see soon enough. But yeah, Hypno is one of the Pokemon here. There's always, in all forest uh, areas, in all Pokemon games, they always do, it's just like, what will you encounter here? And then they'll always try to make it a bit of a surprise. I believe the actual berry drops here are random. But I don't exactly know, like, if there's like a pattern to their randomness. Like, I think the actual square in which they drop is random, but... Is the berry locale random? I know it's refreshed every 256 seconds or something like that, but Jesus. Or not, not to every 256 seconds, every 256 steps. But the, uh, the detailed mechanics are not something I know of. Playing through this area was always a bit of a strange thing for me because it, I think it was. Be I think it was because I was fully aware, just like, this was not in the original game. I- I was kind of just a bit iffied out by it. Ooh, we peer, uh, Barry. I know that's not how it's pronounced, but I want to call it that. Alright. 
Beware of wild berry loving Pokemon. Am I attracting more Pokemon by having more berries in my pocket? That'd be pretty funny, actually. Whoa! Oh, it must have been up. I'm not going back up there. And anyway, here's Lostel. Whimper. Oh, please help! A scary Pokemon appeared there a little while ago. It keeps scaring! It made Lostel scared! I'm too scared to move! But I want to go home! Oh, here it comes again! No, go away! Scare me! Ah, I want my daddy! Now, I can't remember whether or not you can catch this Hypno. I think you can. Uh, I believe Hypno is physically defensive. No, he- Oh, he might have been. Oh, that was scary. Thank you, Lostel came to pick some berries. You can have this. Yeah, berry. What's your name? Lostel's scared so I can go anywhere with you to Daddy's house. Okay, let's go home. Thank you, Lostel. Thank you. God, forgive me. I didn't know you were scared. Daddy was in trouble. It's okay, Daddy. I got to be friends with Pups. Oh, is that you're saying this is for me? How did you know I love rocks and gems? Oh, I thought... Never mind. I thought that we were going to make a reference to Pokemon Emerald. A meteorite to Lostel's Daddy. I see this is from Bill. Thank you for thank it for me. You know, you've been fantastic. I want you to have this. A moonstone. So this is another place you can get a moonstone. Meteor the, the reason I brought up Meteorite, or the reason I immediately thought to Steven, which was the Pokemon Emerald character I was thinking of, when they brought up the Meteorite was, well, that's kind of a thing. Whoa, the, you don't have the Meteorite here. That's interesting. It doesn't go even go into... It doesn't even go into your key bag. You just hold on to it. It's a bit... Peculiar. Unless they have my muck holding it. Should be an interesting choice to say the least. One island. Tally ho! Alright. So talk with them again. He is waiting for us. Oh hey butts! What kept you so long? Been having a good time. Got it done. The PCs are up and running. The job went incredibly quick. Bill is one amazing guy. No, no. There was almost nothing left for me to do. I have to hand it to you. You've learned a lot. <gasps> really? <laughs> well, there you have it. I'm finished with the job. We should head back to Kanto. I'll be seeing you again. I'm really sorry that we sent you off al uh, alone today. I promise I'll show you around these islands sometime. Huh. There was something I forgot to do there. But then again, I don't have Rock Smash yet, and I can't remember when you get it. <laughs> My buddy Celio seemed to enjoy your company. I'm sure he'd welcome you if you were to visit him again. If you have a tri-pass, you can always visit the ferry there from Vermilion Port. Alright, thanks for your company. I'm gonna go drown now. Anyway. With a completely full party. Let's just go to the 8th gym. Which is in Viridian City. We saw it from the beginning. <coughs> okay. Alright, now that you have your beer, uh, now I'm not gonna use that teacher TV. I don't feel like doing it. But hey, here's the gym we ignored. Viridian Jr. The Viridian Gym's leader returned. The Viridian Gym. Viridian Pokemon Gym Leader. Uh, question mark. Ring Trainer Balls. Yo, champion making. Even though I don't know the Viridian leader's identity. One thing's for certain, this will be the toughest of all the gym leaders. Also, I've heard that the trainers here like ground Pokemon. That is probably a lie. Uh, let's see. Uh, actually, I probably should not use Leblob here. 
terrible idea, and I think we've had enough stall. So, oh wait, never mind. I guess we need more stall. All right. Now, even though I think I said I would, I was contemplating using this. Oh, I'm actually gonna use uh, PP ups onto Giga Drain, and then use PP Max when I have to use Earthquake on somebody, which will be sooner than later. Ah, oh, jeez. Your Pokemon will cower at the crack of my whip. I forgot that now I'm trying to minimize battles. I always thought this guy had- I think I said this before. I am gonna try to minimize redundant statements. Oh yeah, real ground types! Freaking poison types. Lovely. Thankfully, I still have the answer. Tauros! Man, Tauros looks particularly bushy in this one. It looks like you just- I waked him up or something. But anyway, psychic type should still do fine. Why did you rest? Oh, I just realized my level advantage. Wow! Alright. So I believe this is the way to go to... Yeah, this is the way to go to minimize encounters. Alright, go back up here. Oh no, you can't actually go through there. Going through there was a complete waste of time. Lovely! Okay. So, yeah, if you go through there, th th you want to encounter Pokemon. It's as simple as that. Or encounter trainers. A truly talented win with style. Cool trainer. I believe this is going to be like the trend now of seeing cool trainers because cool trainers are supposed to be like this are supposed to be like the trainers who are actually very very good. And it's just like okay, so here are the, if you're better than the, if you're a good trainer, you're a cool trainer, which means you're cool. But you're better than the cool trainers, so you're the cooler trainer. Why did I use that? I should have used psychic. Oh, by the way, an actual ground type. Actually, one of my favorite ground types of this gen, and I, believe, I remember loving to use Nido Queen and Nido King. Whoa! I did not realize the full party, or the almost full party. Well, there you go. Uh, so far, I'm taking care of these guys pretty dang smoothly. And I'm getting all my health back. In spite of the fact that I forgot to put leftovers on this guy. I probably should have put Angular Coin, actually. Okay, see, now these guys are actually getting better at matching the theme of the gym. I lost my grip. coin on this guy. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Fucking hell, did my computer... What the fuck? What just happened? I was seriously scared my computer was gonna blue screen again. The fuck? Jesus Christ. I really hope that this isn't desynced again. I'm gonna be pissed off if it is. Okay. I am deliberately going this path, even though it ends at dead end, because either you go to dead end in one path, or you another path becomes dead end. Either way, this allows us to access uh, the final gym, the gym leader, much quicker. So yeah. Now these guys have a trend of using ground types, but they still generally use whatever the heck they want. It's a- it's... There's a... Frequency more for poison and fighting types to show up. But I think uh, the other trend is like rock types. Which either way are synonymous- Which either way are pretty synonymous actually with uh, ground type as well. Especially in this gen.
Okay, so that might have ended at a dead end, but it means that the path behind him, sweet, is now accessible. Whee! Yeah, this guy was a dead end. But anyway, does this guy look familiar? Okay, so I'm gonna try to do this without actually refilling my PPs. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Welcome to my hideout. It shall be so until I can restore Team Rocket to its former glory. But you have found me again. So be it. This time, I'm not holding back. Once more, you shall face Giovanni, the greatest trainer. You're such a great trainer, then why aren't you champion? Ah! Anyway, Leader Giovanni. So this is his day job. Rhyhorn. I don't like this guy's chances. Oh, well, there you go. One hit KO. Wonderful. Nido Queen. Ooh, I can take her. Oh, wait, no. This is the best way to take her out. Let's see if, all, if I can hit the five one-hit KOs. That would be amazing if I could do that. Alright, Needle King! Old fit Man, he really looks mad. <laughs> Whoa, he outsped me! And he hit me once. Yeah. Sorry, dog. Your best days are behind you. Dog Trio. <laughs> Which is a hilarious choice. His last one is either Rhyhorn or... Yeah, his last one is either Rhyhorn or Kangaskhan. If it's Kangaskhan, Psychic is going to be my best bet against Kangaskhan. If it's Rhyhorn... I'm actually... Oh, wait, no, they... I'm pretty sure it's Kangaskhan, so I'm actually going to go with Giga Drain. Dugtrio is a really hilarious Pokemon in competitive battles. Because it's of its arena arena trap, or because of its ability arena trap, you can just uh, you can just trap a weakened Pokemon and just attack it. No, I guessed wrong. Wait, it's right horn, not right on. So let's try Psychic. What happened to his Kangaskhan? Oh, I still want to kill. <laughs> Why doesn't he have a right on? Ha! That was truly an intense. That was a truly intense fight. You have won. As confused as you have been. Not since Brock have we heard that music. Which is pretty much a sign of you got your first one, now here's your last one. 10,000 Poke Yen! Good thing I have that really The Earth Badge makes Pokemon of any level obey without question. It is evidence of your mastery as a Pokemon trainer. With it, you can challenge the Pokemon, but you can also take this TM. Consider it a gift for your Pokemon League challenge. TM26 from Giovanni. TM26 contains Earthquake. It is a powerful attack that causes a massive tremor. I made it when I ran the gym here far too long ago. Originally, what he gave you was a one-hit KO move called Fissure. That move is not as broken as it used to be. But if you talk to Giovanni one more time... Having lost in this fashion, I can't face my followers. I have betrayed their trust. As of today, Team Rocket is finished forever. As for myself, I shall dedicate my life to training again. Let us meet again someday. Farewell. I actually really like the idea of, like, the storyline with the bad guys ending before you get to the championship. So at this point, what pushes you to move on is not the desire to you know, be a good person, if you will, but it's the desire just to be the best. Alright. Right here, Pokemon up to full health. Okay, I just have to double check, because for some reason I keep forgetting whether or not I have Rock Smash yet. Oh, I don't. Okay. Okay. Now, oh, wait, one thing. I forgot to talk to this guy. Hmm. 
<sighs> I must have dozed off in the sun. I had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream. And I learned how to eat dreams. Oh, this is too spooky. Want to teach you a Pokemon I can, so I can forget about it? It's weird, this is the only guy, the only move tutor who has a reason he can't teach something more than once. Because he's actively trying to forget about it. Alright, I'm just gonna save here as a just in case method. Just in case my computer blue screens again. Okay. Alright. And now. Because this is Funky Monkey's route, or it's, I believe this is the route where I got Funky Monkey. Any battles here, uh, maybe he should take charge of it. Let's see what we can make of it. Let's see what's over here. What, butts? What a surprise to see you here. So you're going to the Pokemon League. You collected all the badges too? That's cool. Then I'll whip you, Butts, as a warm up for the Pokemon League. Come on! Alright, let's see how this goes. Now remember, Giovanni's best Pokemon hat was up to level 50, so let's see how this guy goes. Wow! So no wonder he destroyed Giovanni as well. Let's try Rock Slide. Wow! I have to spend his Pidgeot. It's amazing. Oh god! But I didn't beat it. Oh dear. Okay. If he uses Quick Attack, he might be able to take me out. Okay, no. Wait, no he wouldn't. Because that was a super effective attack and it still didn't work. Alright. So I should be good. Oh god, I forget about these things. Um... 90 neutral. I think this is 120. I gotta hope to flinch him. No! There goes Funky Monkey. Dang it. Man, even highly leveled, I still can't just destroy this guy. Let's go with Cthulhu. What does he have in terms of moves? So okay, I figured as much. Well, at least he doesn't have a specs or whatever. That is a scary thing. If... Well, it's a good thing he doesn't have slacking on his team, but... Okay, Ice Beam. Alright, cool, I have sped him. Oh, but he might have Thick Fat. Oh dear, he might have, th he might have had Thick Fat. Ah, <sighs> oh, man. Double type weakness. That's rough. All right, let's try Dodzy. I should probably actually start swapping out. Let's try Drill Peck. All right, I can see why Nuzlocke's actually are kind of... If you don't mind seeing people uh, get really, really... If you don't mind seeing people get really, really... Uh, deliberate in how they try to play the game, or like really grindy, I can see why it could be very thrilling, because if you're trying to play without getting anybody knocked out, it's pretty impressive and you've got to know, it, there's like a very strong tension in just thinking, okay, how do I, how do I be as safe as possible? Okay, to minimize any takedown damage. Okay, since there's less visible recoil, that's a sign that, yeah, he's definitely taking less damage. Okay. Yep, okay, so now I can focus punch. I don't think this takedown will even break my sub. It didn't. Lovely. Nice! Woo! Alright. He still hasn't gotten a Firestone? Is he waiting for an attack or something? Wait, he went to Blaine's gym! He probably has Fire Blast! What a maroon! Growl is already pretty fast. 
Oh wait, no, Arcanine's pretty fast. Why don't you have extreme speed? Alright. Oh, Intimidate didn't work. That's cool. Alright. Uh, Sludge Bomb probably did more. Whoa! That was an interesting attack, but Sludge Bomb should pretty much break him. Oh god, he's too bulky. Okay. So, I should live this though. I'm especially defensive. Yeah! Sweet. So, so far, on LeBlanc, in spite of the fact that he's lower level, being a tankier sort of Pokemon is doing really well. Rival balls. What? I'm just careless. That loosened me up. I'm ready for the Pokemon League. But, you need more practice. I won! But hey, you know that. I'm out of here. Smell you later. I'm out of here! But anyway, I think it's gonna have to be it for this part of Let's Play, Pokemon Fire Red. But I'm only saying that because my voice hurts from doing too many... Too much weird constrained yelling. And now it's so my, now my voice sounds really nasally. Or at least it sounds that way to me. So anyway, join me next time. When... Well, I take the route all the way up to the Pokemon League. See you guys then.